Welcome to another video tutorial from 2dgameartguru.com. Today I'm working in Affinity Designer and I would like to show you the compound functionality. We want to create a complex shape made up of different elements. So we are after something that is maybe a logo, maybe an icon, maybe a badge. Let's start by looking at our sketch. We have some distinct shapes here, a rectangle, pill shapes, circles, one big circle and those smaller curves that go in. Let's speed things up. One thing to keep in mind is that strokes do not work with the compound functionality. You have to expand them to make them work. With all the necessary shapes in place, we can now select the lot and go to layer and create compound. By default, it does an add combining all elements. So if I go to my compound in the layer panel, I can, for example, select the smaller circle and change it to subtract. And the same goes for my pill shape. I want to subtract that one. And then while working in the compound, object I can still use all the normal functionality I can do a duplicate and it will duplicate my elements for me I take one side of the rounded pills and duplicate them and move them over I can also go in and change the shape here let's take the donut select nodes and move them to a nice corner and now I can go through my elements and say okay this one needs to be taken out of my shape and so does the circle that goes with it so we change it to subtract then we have this one which is currently showing on top but if I move it down in the layers I now have my basic shape I now have one object and if I have changed the stroke to a fill you can see it's reacting as one element I can then go in and adjust the fill I can then add effects to this shape like an outer shadow, an inner glow, 3D bevel, you name it, the whole shape will react to those and I can still go in and edit elements if I want to take the two circles and move them down further and they need to go up in order to be above the donut. I can make all these changes later on and it will still work nicely with my design. So the compound tool is a great way to create complex shapes where Boolean wouldn't allow me to keep them editable. So try it out, play with it. I hope you had fun watching this tutorial. Please subscribe, add a like, Leave a comment if you have questions on what I showed you today and I'll see you again soon.